Hi everybody, this is Lydia, one of the fastest students of learning Danish. Well, I learned Danish in like three months when I came to Denmark and that was because I just wanted to learn it quickly, not even just that. I also just thought it was, it was an easy language to learn, but that is not the myth that I hear around here. Everybody says, oh, Danish is hard. Oh, Danish is impossible. All people say this and that. They say all those things. But hey, listen, if I could make it in like three months, literally to speak basic Danish, so can you. And I'll tell you one thing. I I'm not an intelligent student. I'm not. I'm just average. As in, Hello, <laughs> I'm blonde. <laughs> so really, you can you can literally make it in Danish. You can make it. You can speak this language. You can just crush it. You can just you know all you need is to understand one, two, three things, and that is why I come in. Well, I have a good reputation with the stu with the students that I've taught before in my country, where I actually taught English as one of the languages, and. Um, just to brag about it, I had like 28 children in my class from first grade to the fifth grade. They all skipped the sixth grade to go to the seventh grade where they actually had an exam after one year and they all made it to junior secondary school. And that was all because of, yeah, your Royal Highness here. I'm not an intelligent person. I just know I can do one or two things. I have one, two, three tricks on how somebody can learn something quickly. And that is exactly what I want to share here because I know a lot of people think Danish is the hardest language, is one of the hardest languages to learn. Yes, it might be to some level. But listen, if you want to be that person who is always in the conversation when everybody else is talking while you are staying here in Denmark, then you have to listen to me. If you are tired of sitting in a group of friends who actually have the same connection, which is Danish, and you know that feeling of, oh, okay, I'll just let them talk. It's not a good feeling. You feel left out. You literally feel like, why did I even come to this party? I feel not welcome. Listen, you can cut that. You can cut that shot. You can do that. I cut through that. I know how it feels to be in, to be at a party. Everybody else is speaking in Danish and you're just wondering, why are they laughing? What's so funny? You know, you feel like you're missing out. And then you start going like, oh my God, I don't think I'll come to any of their parties anymore. They are so much of themselves. Who's so, who's so much of themselves? You don't want to get out of your own shell? Of course, you're the one who's not thinking about being where you're supposed to be. You are bringing yourself from wherever, Romania, Zambia, wherever you are. You want to bring Romania here. Wherever you go, there you are. So you are the one to create that environment for yourself. And if you want to learn Danish, you have to create the environment of wanting to actually learn to be here. Otherwise, you always feel left out. As in, I know it. I know how it felt the first one, two weeks. And I'm, uh, <laughs> you can probably get it from me. I love to engage with people. I love to hear, oh, what's this one's story? Oh, what is their life about? Oh, you get that. But if you want to go slow here in Denmark, well, I'll tell you that you really go slow. Unless you do one thing that is trying to learn the language quickly. And I have a few tools that I, that I used in learning, in teaching my children, in, in teaching my students English when I was back home. And those same tools, you could incorporate them in the Danish language to actually learn Danish in a very short time. 
and I'm talk I'm not talking about uh, the grammar and everything I I'm just thinking just having that breakthrough you know just where you can stand with somebody and have a comfortable conversation go to the doctor and have a comfortable conversation with your doctor go to go to your mechanic and just have a comfortable conversation with him you get my point meet an old person on the street just have a comfortable conversation you know go to a party and just just have a comfortable nice time a bomb of a time when you're there partying with your friends Going to a church, just have that conversation that will make you connect to a lot of people. You will need a job one day or another. As long as you've made Denmark your place to live, you will need a job. They're not selfish people. I think when you go to Rome, you better do what the Romans do. And the Roman, the Roman people, they do speak their own language, whatever it is, Italian it is. If you have to be in Denmark, because this is where you have chosen to come, why not start with the language? I'll just give you a testimony. You know, from a life of a student, last year I made 500,000 Danish kroners. And that was because I chose one thing, one simple thing. I chose intentionally, as in intentionally, I chose I am going to learn Danish and I'll learn it fast. So when I came as a student, I made it a point that I was going to learn it. And I did. I was exempted from module one. Those of you who understand what I mean, the first module of Danish, I didn't do it. I wasn't in that class because they thought I was... Number two, module, I didn't do it either. I was just given a piece of paper to write on, see what I can do. Oh, oh okay, you can actually do something. Oh, yeah. hmm. What you do? Mm -mm. Okay, you just sit for the exam next week, then you go to module three. I was there for one, one week, I think, or two. Module three, they moved me to the finishing class. Not the beginning class of module two. The finishing class and guess what happened in like a month I wrote my module 3 exam and I passed it then I went to module 4 where I stayed for four months I went to module 5 where I think stayed also for four months and I finished my Danish my my, my, uh, my my Danish classes these classes take three years I finished them in less than one year if I can do it, so can you. And there's only one, there's one, two, three things that you just have to know. And that's it, you're set. Like you can literally go to that school and just get the syllabus, take it home. Crack it, crack it, crack it, crack it. Then you know what to do. What I want to offer you today, because I know you will need this. You will need the starter pack. You will need to break through that barrier of people telling you, oh, it's hard. You'll be laughing at them and saying, oh, it's just one of those languages. Just the same way I learned English, I can learn Danish. Oh, yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, you can. You might be now saying, ah, but leave that but. Listen, if you want to have good conversations with people that you meet on the street, Good conversations with your friends when you go out partying. Good conversations when you go to church with other people. Good conversations when you go to see your doctor. Good conversations, most importantly, when you are going to look for that job which brought you here. Because most of us are here because the money, the Danish money is good. Well, then get on with it. What I'm offering is actually a basic as in basic, I'm talking about more talking than writing. Basic Danish, so you can actually just get cracking in this system. Basic Danish, I want to teach it in four, I want to teach it to you in four weeks. And in four weeks, you should be able to have a conversation with your doctor. 
I know it sounds like, uh, 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 but listen, four weeks is a long time. And in this course, I'm going to teach you how to greet people. And of course, I'll also bring the Danish culture to it because you have to also understand it. I will tell you how to count. I will teach you how to count. I will also direct and guide you on how you can uh, make a conversation to anybody at any level, like in uh, at work, at the office, uh, at the doctor's office at the dentist, whatever, just the right conversations you have to carry on, you have to carry with you when you go to these places. And then, I'll also teach you how to write a few sentences. That would be like more a, bo a bonus. You learn how to communicate with people at different levels. And um, I have to see how many things I actually put in here. How to greet, how to, the language you use when you're shopping, self-introduction, occupation, talk, appreciative conversations, counting and even how to express yourself you know expressing yourself is an art it is and that i'll show you how you can actually bring yourself out in a danish way where you you don't disappear you don't disappear as the person you actually just bring the conversation and just roll it rock it that's what i want to show you in these courses and if you're interested well then contact me and i'll send you all the modules and you even get bonuses i have a bonus where i'm actually trying to show you how you can pass your driving uh test or your driving exam i hope you need it how you can quickly pass it i i went for my driving for i think i only I tr first I, I started with uh, going to I went to two schools I think the first one I thought it was just totally confusing then I gave it a break the second time the teacher would come today tomorrow and then when we're in class this one is asking a question that one a question that one a question that one a question I was the only one who didn't have a question because I was too stupid <laughs> Because I realized, oh, it was going too fast for me. But they were all like, in Danish, you know. It's one thing you know the language. And it's one thing when they're actually speaking on their own. On top of your head, your slow head. <laughs> you get it? So I literally chose, I'm not going to come to class anymore. So I didn't go for classes. I went for classes, I think, twice, three times my whole time. Then I found this teacher and I told him, I don't want to come to your classes. I just want you to help me come to the exam. Then I just asked for the materials. And I asked him if there were any exams I could go through. And he did. He helped me. And boom. We met each other after a week. And we went for lessons. Three, four times on the road. Six, seven, eight hours. So I was at my driving school riding right driving in the car and i got my license right away and there are three people that have helped using the same method that i used they got their licenses just like that it's not a miracle you just have to understand one or two things that can help you get to that other side of the road but i don't know i seem to i seem to stumble on things that work so <laughs> if you want to learn your danish if you want to learn danish in like four weeks basic danish i'm not talking about grammar and all the concrete stuff here if you want that you can always ask for that but right now i'm just talking about basic danish how can you get out how can you just you know start speaking like oh you've been here for a while you know 
I'm going to drill you into this. I'm going to help you understand what you can do for you to actually just get the momentum to just go speed on and get to that language school if you have to and just whoo, be the best that you can be. I know how to help people get there. Stick with me. Get my, get my course, Danish in four months, speaking Danish in four months, and we'll get cranking on the other side. So this is Lydia, and be fruitful and be great. I'll see you on the other side.